Hello, everyone. We're trying something different for once. I do like that. Eh? Eh? I know I've Wait, watched... so I need to be British? No. No, I was trying to do What's a little... What's different thing we're trying? Oh, uh, the video. The video, because we're watching different things. But, yeah, uh, I know about Kenshi because we've watched a video about where you can do a lot of things. It's kind of crazy, and there's a bunch of mods. But, yeah... I do have a friend who played it, but yeah, we'll go ahead and watch this because... Why not? I want to introduce you to a world of total equality, where the difference between oh. stubbing your toe and ooh, death ooh. by firing squad does not exist. Wow! Because in this world, everyone and everything has I like the armor one time, health. Though. Health is binary, our oh. health is useless, right. and a bar is going? considered an extinction level... What'd you say? Is the screen share going? Oh, crap! How long have you been watching? Just a few seconds, don't worry. I'm alive. Sorry, everyone. Just give us one second. I screwed up a little. Will event for everyone involved. For in other words, it's total chaos. I will. Life. It's in the spirit of this chaos that we'll be attempting this week's challenge to oh. assassinate all major faction leaders. I just and love this man's presentation. World. But first, yeah, I watched some of his videos. I've watched some of his videos, a word yeah. from our sponsor. Manscaped is a... He's, he's done a lot, I will say, by uh, just simply giving like himself challenges videos. in, like, fall... Wait, what? I've checked his, well, his YouTube. He has a second YouTube, but on his main channel, but he does not have many videos. Huh. 32. I was thinking of someone else who does challenges for Fallout, but anyway. Premium men's grooming That's and my own fault. brand that offers a wide range of products. They I've never tried these the guys. Maybe I will in the future. The first thing I wanted to try was the trimmer. And let me tell you, paper. after testing this yes. extensively, on not only myself but friends Shave and strangers balls. I met at the bus stop, a very strange thing to help with, but yeah, that it works very well. Its ergonomic design ensures but yeah, comfort, well, is, skin does he make Fallout videos? Produces nicks and cuts while shaving. Best of all, it's even waterproof. Yeah, so maybe I have seen. Them. for you to clean up after yourself it has an led power indicator to show you how much power you have left and it can hold up to a nine i could always charge. use a good razor but trimmer, i wouldn't use it for crop preserver and the crop reviver the crops being your test of course the bass, preserver can be applied razors. anywhere for Let's all day body odor protection, protection while the reviver is more of a sweet jimmy treatment whenever you need a little refresh down there finally this package also uh, comes with a disposable shaving mat which has many uses personally i folded mine oh, into a paper machine mat and put it on my water filter i find it very amazing be what now? Should we be asking Manscaped to pay us for showing their sponsorship? To using and it I mean, I'm I'm doing that because we're watching the dude's video, and it feels wrong to not at least do this because time, well, we're watching their video. Two free gifts. You know I mean? I mean, he already got paid the for it. Travel bag and the Manscaped I mean, true, but Thank I just you, feel Manscaped like it's for nice. sponsoring this video. Now let's begin. Point. Here we are, an impoverished and naked man whose life hangs in the balance with no, every step I, I have we take. He spawned in a small town called the Hub, the populous of which could best be described as a gang of shifty-eyed lunatics with a non-zero chance of harvesting your organs. I know this because uh, I'm one of those lunatics. However, oh. that doesn't make us immune to the dangers of this world, and so we're going to need to acquire some self-defense items. Lunatics. Normally, I'd recommend Not some good. kind of club or automatic rifle. However, in a world where everyone has only one health, there's no need to over-engineer our solution. All we really need is any kind of projectile weapon whatsoever. So I went down to the local hardware store store to scope out the selection the shop what is this deal in the hardware store swords and what and crossbows well, apparently not only has a crossbow but also has enough food and supplies to keep us of going course there's days. always room however we are hilariously poor and oh, so this so presents us with a unique moral dilemma okay we, a go to the nearby copper mine and slowly translate our physical labor into purchasing Seems power in the like form a bad of idea copper ore, or b should i punch him in the head <laughs> and steal all of his belongings well he only has Since one health well medicated and consummate yeah. professional i obviously went down to the copper mine, mined some copper, <laughs> socialized respectfully <laughs> with the barkeeper and his staff, and then legally acquired my desire to trade goods. I like that he's... I, I love this skit, honestly. Just saying, yes, I totally did store. that. Consider this a word of advice, viewer. Hard work always pays off. Now that well, we I mean, it was hard work. Let's sit Normally down and discuss our goals and how we plan to meet does. them. I've drafted a list. I mean... I mean, uh, good. I was about to say, 
I mean, it's still hilarious. It is hard work still killing a person. That we'll be trying to assassinate, as well as some people who are generally master. Technically speaking, all of our targets combined have about 10 health, so this shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> However, it's not the killing that's hard; it's the staying alive after. Sure, I could easily kill Emperor yeah. Kangu. However, his 24 bodyguards would beat me so viciously yeah. that it would make a gang initiation look positively artistic by comparison. <laughs> The solution to this dilemma is simple. We need to become the most ancient and powerful video game archetype in all of history. And that yes, is? of course. I'm talking about the stealth archer. Whether oh, it's Skyrim or like Monopoly, Skyrim. shooting people with arrows from the corner of the room is surprisingly effective. I've created yeah, the even back necessary then. attributes for That's us how King Richard died. He loved the crossbow and he died by it. Putting aside historical damage, well, historical death, um... Yeah, no, just find the part where the boss can't hit you, stand there, and shoot back at him. And make sure it be stealth so you can leave. To this mythical creature. First, critical hits. The only yeah. logical reason to spend 45 minutes crouching through bushes is that you have a high-powered fetish for seeing large numbers. Or what? Crits, that's a thing? Fortunately, we've Please got that base covered probably. because our critical hit rate is functionally 100%. Additionally, okay. we've already got the long-ranged <laughs> weapon, so all we need now is to train our stealth and athletics, at which okay. point we will have the necessary skills to graduate from public menace to full blown international terrorist. Uh, athletics is always easy. Pick a place anywhere on the map and run in circles until your carpal uh, tunnel okay. syndrome slowly overpowers the horse tranquilizers that you've been microdosing. <laughs> Naturally, some places make better running tracks <laughs> oh than others. God. For example, this lady didn't appreciate me breaking into her home at 2 a.m. to run laps around her coffee table, <laughs> and it only got worse when I started violently ejecting human limbs from my inventory. <laughs> but hey, you can't argue with the results. After a week, our athletic staff was thoroughly trained and it was now time for us to turn the do that? power level Why would you do that specifically? challenging yourself to be as creepy as humanly possible. Okay. Some might say I've been power leveling stealth for 26 years straight. Oh I know my all God. the tricks. For example, hiding in a dark corner and watching someone sleep for five hours straight Absolute gold mine. I spent several really? days skulking around various cities, doing my best yeah, impression of Ted Kaczynski. This is why this I kind of want to make my own game. Something like Kenshi, but had not the power in this kind of world, you know. I spent some time in the Holy Nation, and for the most part, it was the so same. The guards would still regularly so decimate the. Yes, but that's why I want to become somewhat big and then pay people to make the game. Hungry bandits, but every so often, True. a glimmer of hope. Sometimes the hungry bandit mm. lands a hit and absolutely annihilates a level 60 pallet oh. with his rusty pipe. In real life, the bear consumes the salmon, but in this world, one in a thousand times, the salmon can eat the bear. It was inspiring to witness because if this what? stupid, smelly, unemployed, scrawny, limp dicked loser, oh my god, moron, dipshit, okay, we get it, can actually win, then maybe I have a chance too. Anyway, I continued to harass the local populace until I had acquired a total of 32 restraining orders against me. I decided this would be adequate, and so oh we set God. off to sow chaos in the rest of the world. And who will our first target be? Who well, will it? it's a portly young Sheck by the name of Els. I chose him okay. for two reasons. First of all, he's a rampant alcoholic, and I can't <laughs> have him promoting such unhealthy and immoral lifestyles to my viewers. Oh my so God. naturally, we have to gun him down in the street like the wild dog he is. Second of all, he's terribly fat. <laughs> And I think that will give us a better chance of shooting him before he punches us to death. Oh my god. Ours lives all the way in Shobatai, so I began my journey eastward. Typically, this biome is a little stressful because at any moment, a giant insectoid rapist could emerge what? from its sand oh, burrow and assault that's you. Horrifying this looking. stress is elevated substantially when yep. you have only one health and no clothes. Between the man-eating mm. bugs and foreign men trying to sex traffic me, I had to do a lot of killing. But eventually, we managed to make it into Shobatai. Now, we just have to find our target. He's known to frequent the outhouses of the city. Not okay. because he needs to use them, I'm pretty sure he just lives there. Anyway, we eventually found him and liberated him from his poverty by driving a crossbow bolt through his skull. I was worried okay. that I may have to execute some elaborate escape plan at this point, but actually no one seemed to care. Oh. After killing exactly <laughs> one homeless person in I broad daylight, I felt ready to take out the richest man in all of Kenshi. Agent Emperor 47. Tengu. He is a trained killer who wields tremendous political power, and he's usually surrounded by dozens of bodyguards. But all of this means okay. nothing in the face of my 
smaller store, Crossbow. I traveled to Tengu's home city and started casing the joint. Usually I go into these things with a complete lack of preparation, but I do have a plan for this one. Okay, Normally what Tengu is never leaves his throne room because of his crippling polio. However, what? thanks to some recent medical advancements, he's now able to go outside again to shop and spit on poor people. That will be our opportunity to strike. Goals. I set up on a little sand dune Bad overlooking goals, but the goals. town square and I waited without moving a muscle for three days and nights and then it finally happened. I wonder if that would affect his character at all or does he need to actually eat? Oh. Thoughts for later? In the distance, I saw oh, Tengu probably. approaching. I prepared the crossbow I know there and is waited a for him system. to get in range. Oh, I'm about works. to Lee Harvey Oswald this oh, man's okay. whole career. Actually, <laughs> maybe not. I'm trying to use this turret, but no matter how many times I attempt to target Tengu, the game won't let me shoot him. This makes what? it very difficult to kill him, but not impossible. The game won't let me shoot at Tengu, but it will let me shoot at his bodyguards. Oh. Hypothetically, if my aim is inaccurate enough, I could shoot at his guard, miss, and accidentally hit Tengu, thus killing him as collateral <laughs> oh. damage. I attempted this wow. plan no less than 50 times, each unsuccessfully. Eventually, I got angry and walked up to Tengu yeah. and shot him in the face. <laughs> it's not as cinematic, but he's definitely dead. It is yeah. now time to excuse ourselves from the dinner table. The guards chased us for about Run. 20 miles, but eventually Run. they gave up when I started killing them. Now, this little assassination <laughs> saga has taught me two oh things. God. One, life is <laughs> and we should take every I mean, of course he would. Like it. It. In ten years, he's probably tired of being Why? naked. He what? has what health anyway. Because he's tired of being naked. I'm sure we would give anything just to be back in this moment right now. And two, if I'm going oh, to continue please. to slaughter yeah. the innocent, I'm going to need a lot more crossbow bolts. Yeah. The issue, yeah. of course, is that as we continue to perform unlicensed craniotomies on public figures, we will slowly lose access to more and more vendors across the world. Okay. Therefore, I believe we should seize the means of production by creating our own crossbow factory. However, once we have a fixed address, our enemies will surely visit us weekly with intentions of curb stomping us into abstract art. Therefore, oh, no. we need a base that is functionally yeah. impossible for our enemies to assail, and there's only one place where we can achieve that, the burning forest. This biome is disgusting, and under normal circumstances, I would never be caught making a base here. However, Ooh. it has a very unique advantage. Here, is. it is almost always monsoon season, and the monsoon is acid rain. Oh. Everything having only one health, acid rain is functionally yep. the same as a planetary glassing. So what oh, we have to do is it's the same as an exterminatus, dear god. Waterproof clothing, make our base, and watch as hundreds Waterproof of top-tier soldiers how? rush headfirst into death by precipitation. We are going to need some startup capital for this, so I snuck back into Heft and stole Tengu's body. Oh my sure god! It counts as grave robbing since they left him in the street, but I don't I really care either him. way. After No one buried him, I guess they didn't care after he was dead. Jumping Tengu's body over the city walls, I was able to evade some guards and escape the settlement. I came back an hour later to scrape Tengu off the desert floor and haul him to Blister Hill to collect a $100,000 bounty. Unfortunately, oh I forgot to account for the fact that the Holy Nation is a fanatical cult led by crystal meth smoking lunatics. So uh, instead of paying me a bounty, they decided to reward me with this. I what killed the most powerful man in Kenshi, and all I got was this lousy coffee mug. Amazing. No, no, it's great. Really, I love it. After immediately pawning this um, holy If you're wondering who the Holy Empire is, uh, they're the racist human supremacist asshole faction. Oh, wonderful. So yeah, no, there's no normal goal in this game. However, 90% of the time, the goal is kill Lord Phoenix. Ah. I was hoping... Because that... fuck him. Are they also the strongest one? No, they're the guys leading the uh, Holy Empire. Ah. Uh, no, no, wait, I meant... Tengu's clothing. Ah, uh, never mind. We at least managed to come up with around $60,000. Oh, it's that's not nice. Great, but it'll do. It was around this time I started to notice some changes going on in the and world. Do? There's something strange about these guards. Oh, in fact, they appear to be devolving into some sort of limbless meat spheres. Oh my, my theory God. is that whenever a guard enters a fight, there's about a 50% chance they lose a limb in the process. But this Makes won't sense. kill them because they have plenty of allies to bandage their wounds. It does, however, 
result in the guard populace progressively <laughs> becoming more aerodynamic over time, and it's not uncommon for you to see squads of guards patrolling the street with no arms. I suspect oh my this will God. work in my favor later in the game, when yeah, we assassinate because... a public figure and the responding police force is all in wheelchairs. But yeah, I'll... because they literally will go out to fight bandits normally and just lose limbs. Digress. After yep, Tango's little estate sale, we now have the requisite funds to mm. execute our plan. I visited a few clothing stores and assembled a very eclectic but entirely waterproof outfit. Now I can travel through acid rain with 100% impunity, and so I began the base development in earnest. I went for an open concept, so no walls, since I'm pretty sure He's everything in a 5 kilometer radius is dead. Initially, I just wanted to make a crossbow factory, <laughs> but the more uh -huh. I built, the more I realized a vision of creating uh -huh. a covert training facility and establishing my very own order of assassins. Uh, making a training facility. Wait, assassins for yourself? By adding in some prisoner cages, training dummies, yeah. and basic food production, this I can game is extensive. my headquarters to Just kidnap a... and a train. Yeah, no, you can do all kinds of shit in Tenshi. Okay, yeah, I want to, I realize that I really, really do want to make a game like this, but you remember my isekai style game? Yeah. Yeah, like this, but Dozens you know, magic and whatnot. Hit men, which I can dispatch you get across the world like a I swarm of like girl guides. Of except instead of selling you cookies, you can be the hero. You can be the turning point, and by God, you're gonna have to fucking work for it. And that's what I love. I love games where you, where someone says, "Okay, you can do this, but you're gonna have to work for it." You can be the strongest man in the world. Game, yeah. Cookies, they strangle you. Oh, I might at some point, honestly. It, five people, it's low enough begin... graphics to where I don't have to worry about processing power. And also the radicalization process. And no, I'm not worried about them trying to escape because I specifically asked them not to. Additionally, what? they're all naked, so if they take even one step outside, the acid rain will instantly melt off all of their limbs. With a few more crossbow bolts now in the inventory, we can resume our crusade. And who will be our next target? Why, none other than Infinite Wing Wang. In case you're huh? familiar, Wing Wang is a street person with a very eccentric personality. However, don't be deceived by his seemingly intractable schizophrenia What's because I believe it's entirely performative. I think Infinite Wing Wang is using his fractured the sanity the as man's a name is Wing Wang. to distract us from his real intentions. Establishing the Fourth Reich. I don't sure think that's one, what he's doing. Sixty percent. So we're just going I, to go I'm ahead. I'm not and sure kill the first thing happened here. I through the Fog Islands to the lovely city of Mongrel. Upon arriving in town, I what'd you say? I don't think the first three happened here, but About at the same time, uh, fuck the Nazis. Me, which I politely deposited well, yeah. at every bar, shop, goes and without saying. post I could find. This had unexpected consequences. But I don't think Wing Wing is doing anything. Men, they have better weapons and armor. However, with armor being useless, it was basically okay. just a numbers game, and the Fogmen were winning. I had yeah. been here five minutes, and the town was already collapsing. We so basically, any bandit attack on... A town can annihilate the guard Move force. Fast to find Wing Wang before the fogmen get him. But yeah, eventually, but I just found him casually meandering anyway. down the road as dozens of his friends were being devoured by feral bug people. Uh, um, In all the chaos, no one really cared not when sure I decided about that. to practice extreme acupuncture well, these are on his these pulmonary are artery. I What's the difference? For the guards to try and arrest There's me, but I guess they were busy. Oh. So I just left and headed back to the base. Now, killing the mentally ill is, of course, not difficult. But some of the <sighs> other targets on this list will require a team effort. So so I think it's time to expand our enrollment here at Order of Assassins University. For their diligent training, I bestowed my first initiates with actual clothes. Nice. This would allow them to safely go outside, thus marking the first time they've seen daylight in about nine days. From here, our group travel to the nearby swamp to abduct people and train them into professional hitmen. Mostly, we indoctrinated strange individuals we found at the bar. Uh, really, we took anyone we could get our hands on. Eventually, I mean, that makes we sense. To kidnap a total of 50 scared and confused vagrants which so basically he grabbed random people off the street and indoctrinated him into his assassin cult yes isn't that amazing that you can just do this that it's a Kind of scary, we but put yeah. In our dojo, after a few weeks and several courses of mind-altering drugs, they had graduated to 100% pure deranged gunmen. What oh. followed was a completely unprecedented string of assassinations that rapidly changed the geopolitical landscape of Kenshi. For example, I traveled to the Sheck capital, where I punched their leader in the head. <laughs> one shot, one kill. This caused the Sheks to enter a bizarre political power struggle, which eventually ended with Mukai the Mountain being elected king. It's oh. really unfortunate. For for them, they didn't notice me hiding in the 
the corner of the room waiting for this to happen for the past <laughs> oh four God. days. How did I survive? Well, I had a backpack full of sandwiches, and when that uh. ran out, I just started slowly digesting my own body for sustenance. No. Remember, these are small sacrifices <laughs> to make in the grand scheme of things. Anyway, I punched both of Mukai's arms off, which resulted in a high-speed pursuit where I chased oh my him God. through the streets at 4 a.m., and he screamed a lot and bled to death. This secondary assassination caused the city to be overtaken by a sect of ultra-nationalists known as Kral's Chosen. Oh, wonderful. Following this, we traveled across the map to the Western Hive, where we engaged in some very meaningful dialogue with the oh. Hive Queen. Unfortunately, I experienced a totally accidental and unplanned crossbow malfunction, which resulted in me shooting her in the face. <laughs> Funnily enough, the same thing happened the next day when I visited the Southern Hive Queen. How embarrassing. The How loss of two major political figures created a power vacuum in Okrin's Gulf and Vane, which was- So basically, the whole world is gonna be in chaos when he's done with this. That's all I'm getting from this. Yep, he took out by an infestation of fogmen. How disgusting. Bonus assassination. I snuck into the Dust King's tower and kidnapped him. But don't worry, uh, I'm not going to kill you. You're going to kill you. I stripped what? him naked and took him to the middle of the desert where he would be participating in a blood sport esque kumite. I locked him in an arena and Wonderful. sent my assassins in one after another. However, there's two important things going on here. One, my assassins are on passive. Oh, so he can control back. them and too. Two, cool. They're all wearing heavy armor. Now, just like in real life, if you decide to pick a fist fight with a plate too. armor enthusiast, yeah, Easiest, your fist is going names. to quickly become inoperable, and it's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. It's the exact same in Kenshi. When the Dust Bandit punches the heavy armor, he will inflict a small amount of damage oh. to his hands. And since each limb has only one health, this will inevitably result in that. The dust oh. hit the assassin so hard that his entire leg exploded. But the fight's not over yet. Here comes another assassin. And uh. there goes the arm. One more and the last arm is gone. He God managed damn. to kill four assassins. That's a new record. Congratulations. You must feel amazing. Anyway, <laughs> that's my lunch break. Back to work. Next up, Inquisitor Setup. Since I've destroyed all of the Holy Nation's enemies, we're on pretty good terms. Which is probably okay. why they didn't question me when I was building a harpoon turret aimed directly at Inquisitor Setup's head. What the hell? You probably guess what happened next. The Bugmaster was Oh, a bit the whole... It took out the Holy Nation. It's one of the leaders of the Holy Nation. Uh, More difficult. He's a bizarrely yep. jacked computer programmer who has uploaded the consciousness of John Wayne Gacy to all what? 30 of his pet spiders. He has oh. off the table, so I just surrounded his tower with an army of 50 assassins, each armed with a crossbow and plenty of ammunition. Ah, and as the okay. spiders sallied out, we peppered them with salacious amounts of crossbow fire. Eventually, the bugs became frightened of our weaponized autism, and we had to start sending people in after them. I'd oh send one man in to aggro a few bugs and pull them out oh, cool, the ruckus. The mortality rate for this occupation approached 100%, not because of the spiders, but because of the subsequent volley of 40 precariously aimed crossbow bolts. Oh! With the spiders now taken care of, I decided it would be amusing to surprise the Bugmaster by storming his throne room with 45 naked and untrained <laughs> kung fu assassins. This kung resulted in a predictable assassins. amount of casualties, but eventually one wow, of Wow, he's taking out a lot of them really the fast. to death. Well done. While looting the Bugmaster's tower, I found he had a collection uh, of 926 human teeth. What the fuck? Ew! What the hell? Clearly, he also power levels stealth. Possibly also, edible? This is unrelated to our world agenda, but I took a quick Gotta break to out. see if I could punch a Leviathan to death. Turns out they're still pretty dangerous, even with one health. We wow. are now on our second last target, good old Phoenix. Him and I go way back. Phoenix lives in a very well-defended city, and unfortunately, after my most recent stunt with Inquisitor Seta, the Holy Nation and I aren't exactly on speaking terms. So yeah. getting access to Phoenix may be rather difficult. To accomplish this, I will attempt to utilize the most neglected game mechanic in all of Kenshi, and disguises. By stealing the uniform oh, of an enemy faction, cool. you can sometimes, maybe, if Venus is in retrograde, fool them into thinking you're on their team, thus allowing you to move freely throughout their territory. It's risky, but it just might work. I spent a few nights stalking the Holy Nation roads, and eventually I managed to pick off a guard with my crossbow. Once his body was left to decompose in the streets by his friends, I approached it and we swapped identities. For all intents and purposes, my name is now Igor, and I work for the Holy Nation. Amazing. Now we can infiltrate the city and assassinate their leader. I arrived outside the gates of Blister Hill. 
all that's left now is for us to get past the guards at the front Can't gate. Can't you just Our take them out? I don't think they good, can but defend. My character has the facial features of an eldritch horror from <laughs> beyond the stars, and I'm worried that may draw some suspicion. Only one way Maybe. to find out. I approached the guards and did my best to look racist. To my what? surprise, it worked, and they accepted me as one of their own uh, oppressed women. I told you the Holy Nation's deal was. Yeah, but I didn't expect him to just say no that. Worries. Am I right, fellas? Anyway, with the guards now fooled, I beelined it for Lord Phoenix, because the longer we stay here, the higher our chance of detection. Upon making it to Phoenix's throne room, I did my best impression of a tier 3 Amaranth sub by revealing my naked body and trying to kill him with a crossbow. Phoenix was quick on the draw. He almost closed the distance before I performed a tonsillectomy on him oh. using my crossbow. This resulted in his immediate death. All that's left now is to escape. However, with all exits blocked and nearly 60 mm. guards closing in on my position, yeah. my chance of surviving seems dubious at Can best. Can you jump off However, a wall? We no, have one you last die. trick up our sleeves. A you knife? see, Carlos wasn't the only person we smuggled into the city. If we look at the assassin- Oh my god, he's playing the soundtrack from Cowboy Bebop. HQ, you'll see there's no one there. That's because uh -huh. over the past several weeks, I've been equipping them with various disguises and smuggling them into the city on oh. their false identities. That bakery in the corner that's amazing and kind of insane and kind of creepy. That's the only video where he does this. I th think that that's actually the next one up. Th this makes me think of the uh, literal idea of, yeah, these men aren't aren't on your side they're on mine it's actually a secret den of highly trained assassins the slave traders getting drunk at the bar the homeless man performing sex acts in the alley even half the police force they work for me and we're i mean pretending to be a homeless man actually does work because you get the most information that way we're about ready to turn the city upside down i activated my army of assassins in the main oh. section of the city oh. mayhem ensued i had carlos evade phoenix's personal guards and slip outside where a small group of my conspirators were waiting they escorted me to the main city block where total pandemonium had broken out. Guards mm. fighting guards, roaming bands of homeless maniacs, and people being beat to death with frying pans. <laughs> Such chaos sustains me in a deeply personal way. In oh all this confusion God. and disorder, I was effectively able to walk right out the front door. An entire army of assassins had sacrificed themselves to the cause. But to go down fighting is all a man can really aspire to in the cruel world of Kenshi. I too I would have so. sacrificed myself in this battle, but we have one last matter to settle. Aside oh. from being one of the most powerful characters in the game, Catelyn is a pretty tragic figure. Following the collapse of the old empire, he rose to prominence in an attempt to restore order to the world. His obsession with this goal eventually led him to adopt some very morally questionable policies, uh, such as child prisons, slavery, and mandatory lobotomies. He has uh, since been overthrown and exiled to the Ashlands, yeah. where he has uh, remained for several hundred years. He's also whoa. canonically insane. In many ways, Catelyn is Carlos from the past, or perhaps <laughs> a different future. Two men who have forsaken everything and everyone close to them in an attempt to change the world. No it is now time for one of these to figures to be put to rest. <laughs> but before we- Yeah, he kidnapped all those people. What is he talking about being close to them? him on, there's one important thing we have to deal with. Catlon has an army of, no exaggeration, 120 headless simps. And he thinks robots. it's really funny to call them into power mal- Wait, wait, wait. The robots have no head, so... I think those are skeletons. The skeletons? A robot skeleton. Yeah, I guess he's controlling well, he them all by himself. On the other hand, I think it's really no, funny I think to preemptively spend citizens. two hours killing them oh, one by one with that's a horrifying. Crossbow. For the sake of brevity, I've gone ahead and put this on 4,000% speed. After euthanizing the entirety of the Catlon fan club, we are now prepared to face our final foe. <laughs> However, there's one issue. I've noticed that the One Health mod doesn't appear to work on prosthetics, meaning that oh. Carlos's robotic arm technically has 83 health, and I feel that's not really in the spirit of the challenge. As penance for my accidental transgressions against the challenge, I will be unequipping my arm and fighting Catlon with nothing but a rusty katana. This may oh. seem like a death sentence, but what Catlon doesn't know is that in the spirit of total equality, I've spent the past 200 days training my attack and defense to be roughly the same as his. We now oh. enter a battle against the strongest man in Kenshi that may be decided in a single blow. After some autistic screeching, Catlon was upon us. He attacked roughly three times 
times a second, and even with our defense stat of 86, we were barely able to keep up. This can't continue okay. for long. We were able to sneak in an attack oh. on his chest, which under normal circumstances would have been a death blow. However, Catalan's armor actually mitigated almost all of the damage. In Damn! Response, Catalan vivisected Carlos in one fell swing. Seemingly, it's all over. However, in this world, one in a thousand times, there is a glimmer of hope. Our attack on Catalan didn't do enough to kill him, but it did cause him to bleed. And little known fact, Catalan doesn't actually have any medical items in his inventory, oh. which means that over the next two days, this wound slowly drained the life from his body until he collapsed and died on his throne. Oh. And with that, several days after Carlos has decomposed and disappeared, our challenge is now complete. The Holy Nation and I mean, United the United are in shambles. A win is a win, I guess, especially in war. supremacists and cannibalistic bugs. Uh. Truly, this is total equality. I want to thank this month's patrons for helping to fund this video and finally I mean, I'd like to watching. really cool to make us a LHA of mercenaries again. A, a mercenary army just leading against a nation. That would be cool. Yeah. But yeah, thank you all so much. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider subscribing, following, doing all that nice stuff you do. And yeah, if you guys make suggestions in the comments, we might check them out. Always remember to take care of yourselves and... Oh, damn. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.